In this video, I want to give you a short little intro into the basic drawing tools in Pixlr. This is the tool, the drawing tool here. And this, in combination with this, is where we work with color. The color up here is the fill of the shape we're going to draw. We can draw a square, a round, a, a rectangle really, a rounded rectangle, an ellipse, or a line. If we want to put a border on that shape, then we specify the size of the border here and the color of the border here. Let me show you how to fill these little blocks with color. First, we'll click on the big rounded rectangle and I'll choose a green shade. I choose in the outer circle, then click in the inner circle to fill this rectangle and then choose the shade. And when you're happy with the contents of this lower rectangle, click OK. That gives you green as your active color. Now, if I click in one of these little rectangles, the green gets stored there. Click here and I'll choose a red. And OK. And I'll store the red. Now I'll choose a blue. And OK. And store the blue. Now I'll choose an orange. Make it a little brighter than that. A little more orange. Oh, no, too pale. Being picky doesn't matter, that's fine. And now I'll click again. Would we not have pink? I'll choose a pink. And then I'll get <coughs> a purple. So now I have six different colors stored there for use. Of course, I can go get another one anytime I want, but that just gives me a little basic paintbrush, paint pot. So I'm going to choose to draw an ellipse, and I'm going to give it a border that we'll be able to see, so I'll choose a 10-point border. I'm going to fill it with green, and I'll border it with pink. And there it is. Pink outline, green fill. Not perhaps very beautiful, but it gives you the idea of how the tools work. Choosing a rectangle. This time we'll set the border down to zero. And we'll fill it with blue. Okay. A line has one other option. That's the size of the line. And we'll make a yellow line. And there it is. So that's basically how those shape tools work.